board. And we had the idea of converting this into a library, the school owned the building at that time. And I went to the school board meeting and spoke to them, and they were more than glad to let us have it. So we owe a big gratitude to this, this Desert High School and Administration. Mr. Dean and Mr. Matilda Horn sitting up here, two of my favorite people in the world. Yeah. I went to talk to Mr. Dean and Miss Matilda about the possibility of turning this into a library, and of course they were for it 100 percent. So they put me in touch with the people who talked to, and I talked to them, and the guy was actually very nice, and he gave us the library, and I met, or, he, or the school gave us the building. He came to my office, and we had a meeting. Miss Matilda was there, and so we, I asked him about the windows. He said, Death Prairie County can keep the windows. He said, well, you gave him the windows. I want the ordinance. <laughs> Y'all should have seen his face. He said, yes, ma'am, you say you want. But they have done, they have been there and out there. Not only have they helped the library, they are outstanding citizens of this county. I'd like to introduce a few people up here. This is our head librarian, April Heifel. She and her mom. This is her mom, Janet. You should drive up here in the work process of this thing. You drive up here on Saturday. You could drive up here at night. They were out, out in the yard with paint, painting baseboards, painting shelves, all that stuff. She never asked for anything, any money or anything. She just did it because she wanted to help this library get in the check And thank you, there's not enough for them. I don't even know what to do, but I'm so proud that there are, that she is our head librarian. She's not only there, but she's a haven and a ball club. Here's our, our two first Bobby, I'm sorry, Bobby Merrill. Laura Smith. <laughs> Bobby's been around for quite, quite a few years. Laura is fairly young, fairly new here, not young. She's been around for a long time. But anyway, I think they'll be able to help y'all with anything that you need done. Uh, I think we need to give all these people another big round of applause. <laughs> people that contributed to this project. If you walk in and look at the plaque on the wall, that's a list of the people. It wasn't fine. some of it was financial, but the most part of it was doing work for us. My nephews and niece are here today. They own State Electric. We would have never got the job done if they hadn't come in and wired the building for us. We got a 1913 building in 2018. But our state senator, senator this Jonathan Disbane, he was Senate Pro Tem the last section. I like talking to him when you call him. He's not going to promise you anything, but he will work really hard to try to get it. And if you don't get it, he's going to tell you why. But I, John, will you come here and talk to us for a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, I don't have a lot to say. I just want to say how much I appreciate the work, the judge, and everything going into this, and, and really the community coming together. I think it was three years. Three or four years. Right, yeah, three or four years ago, he toured me through uh, through the building. It's an incredible building, and and really the hard work here is just a testament to the community. And uh, I'm proud to serve you in the state senate. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Senator. Appreciate it. <laughs> the next person I'd like to speak is our state representative, David Hillman. He's getting kind of old. I'm, I hope he's making it. <laughs> <laughs> he gets around about like that. By David. David helped us financially on this building, and uh, he knows that I don't mind calling and asking. I mean, the Bible says you don't receive because you don't ask. Well, I'm going to ask. All the time. <laughs> David, thank you, judge. You know, when the judge calls you, he's one of those people that you answer is yes. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter what, because he's going to keep bugging you until he gets the job. But uh, I want to tell you, I'm proud of this community. <coughs> You look up down the streets, I know how hard it is to keep a community going, a town going in East Arkansas today. Y'all are doing the right things, and this is the right thing. Kids today, you don't need to know arithmetic, you don't need to know how to write. Most of them can't write cursive anyway. Everybody has to learn how to read. There's no substitute for that. And people that read are the ones that succeed. And having a place like this, y'all gonna succeed. Thank y'all for letting me be a part of it. All right, a couple more 
couple people I'd like to recognize before we, before we go in. Uh, Jerry Ott is here somewhere from uh, Bob Shuck. Oh, she's over there. Dressed in black, she must be in sympathy. <laughs> uh, she's with Bob Shelley's architecture firm, and Bob started working with Prairie County back when Galvin DeVore was good. All the grants that we received, for the, he helped us get the grants for this building, not all of them, but 90% of them. Every grant that we spent on the Ball Club Courthouse and the Dead Art Courthouse was all the grants that they helped us write. So I'd like to, I'd like to thank her for being here. We also have some people here today from Central Arkansas Solve Planning. Y'all hold your hands up. Thank y'all for coming very much. They wrote the grant. If I had been the one that was writing the grant, we'd be in trouble. So we have representatives from Historic Preservation. Brian, where are you? There, he back over there by, by the architect. Brian Driscoll from Arkansas Historic Preservation, and he came here today to help us celebrate. He was he came here before we ever started the project. Got Mayor Garth, please, Jim. We built we built parking out there where these cars were parked, and we could never have got it done if the city of Desert hadn't come in and done it for us. We were busy on the county, and we knew we had to get parking. So Jimmy and his crew came out and did that. And we really appreciate what he's done. We got Red representatives from Farmers and Merchants Bank, and uh, thank y'all, and members from Merchants and Pla uh, Merchants and Planners. Thank you. I love. Thank you, Paul. Well, when we started this project about six or eight years ago, the first place I went to beg for money was a bank, and they both helped us out. And we are, <laughs> it is nice to have a town this small and have, have two thriving banks in it that do a lot of good. So I'm really, really happy for that. Uh, there's one more person I'd like to thank. I'm sure he's out mowing yards right now. Jeremy Pallet said our yard looked awful up here, and he did it with weeds and stuff. And he's taken it over about a month ago, and he sprayed it with him when he got Ramuda growing. He's watering it, put it however often he needs. He came in Moses last night, and it was just kind of his gift to, pray, or to the library. But he, he's got two young kids that I think will be using. But that's basically all I've got to say. I would like to ask all the people that I talked to, you know, from Central Arkansas planning, from everywhere to come up here. I want y'all to help cut. The, I want y'all to help come. Come on. Y'all gotta come too, Brian. Y'all gotta come. All the people I talk to, the banks. How did you and Paul come up here? This was a community project. This wasn't one person doing it or one group of people. This was the entire Prairie County getting this done. Uh, Dr. Larry here. All right, Mike. He's not here. Brett, where are you? You gonna come up here, please? I'm gonna ask Britt. This is my brother, Britt Scar Started. He's my younger brother. I know he looks older, but he's still. <laughs> he's only started. He's got hair left. I don't know. <laughs> but he's the pastor of, of the uh, United Course United Methodist Church in Classy Heights in Little Rock. If you're ever homesick and can't go to your home church, watch Britt. He does a fantastic job. I want him to bless the building. I guess maybe that sounds kind of ridiculous, but I'd like to see the building blessed. I asked Brid if Dr. Larry would be able to do it. He said he'd come up with that. Will you join with me in prayer? Almighty God, source of all wisdom and knowledge, we give thanks for your love that has brought this creation into being. We know that we are made in your image to also be filled in desire, knowledge, and wisdom. And so we thank you today especially for this dream that has come true, for this new library, this beautiful library that has had so much heart and soul and spirit poured into it, this library that will reach out to people for generations to come. We thank you for the leadership from our county judge on down, historic preservation, architects, all those who have had a hand in this. We pray your blessings on this place that uh, all who pass through these doors might know and love and grow in the knowledge and love of, uh, of simply being human beings who care for one another. Bless this community, bless all of us, and bless this building. We ask in your holy name. Amen. 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 April, you got some scissors. Uh, Y'all, the, most of the library boards here, I'm not. I'm, you can help me. <laughs> but thank everybody that helped. We thank you so much. Everybody, I see a lady out there that gave to us financially. 
I see a bunch of people uh, at different companies that have helped us. Thank you all so very much for what you've done. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.